Hey, what's up guys? It's Reflex. I'm sorry if there's going to be a lot of echo in this video. I am in our guest bathroom because my sink is already so dirty from cleaning fountain pens and I didn't feel like cleaning it. You can clean ink out of sinks, at least out of mine. Um, of course, do that at your own risk, I suppose. Um, but today we're just going over the basics of cleaning a fountain pen. I have a Pilot Metropolitan to show because I feel like that'll be a pretty common pin that people are interested in cleaning. You know, it's a good beginner pin, pretty basic. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you want to do is grab some supplies. Of course, I forgot mine, so I have to go grab those real quick. So there are a few things that are recommended. Um, the one thing I will say that I would say you absolutely need Technically you don't. Technically you don't need anything. You should be able to just clean them straight in the sink with no extra bits and bobs. But I would highly, highly suggest you get some blunt end syringe needles. These are the most helpful thing um, when it comes to cleaning in my opinion. And then if you wanna do a deep clean, including taking the nib out, I would recommend getting a, like a little piece of rubber um, and Goulet sells them as a Goulet grip. This is really helpful for getting the nib out of especially Pilot Metropolitans. I think that's the main thing I've used this for. You can get some other things like um, bulb, what are they called? Bulb things. <laughs> I'll throw a picture. They're good for sending a lot of water down a pin really quickly, um, which the syringe is also good at, but not as much water. Yeah. The syringe is a lot more fine. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We take the cap off of the pin. Then we'll unscrew the section from the body. I will be making a video that goes more in depth of all the parts of a pin and answering all the beginner fountain pen questions. I'm still working on the script though. It's gonna be quite a video, <laughs> quite long. So now you should have the body which you can put off to the side. It shouldn't be dirty. Um, if it is, you know, do whatever you need to do to rinse that off. And then you have the nib, the feed, the section and the grip, and you'll either have a converter or a cartridge in it. So we'll just go ahead and take this out. That's what I do. Um, you can keep the converter or the cartridge in and keep putting water through it. So if you have a converter, what you can do is just have a cup of water or something, soak up a bunch of water, squirt it out, and then keep doing that until the water runs clear. That's what I would recommend if you're gonna be putting in more ink directly after, like new ink. If you're using the same ink, I would just put more ink in it. You should be fine. If you're inking it up with a different ink, then you wanna clean it and then just wait till the water runs dry and then put new ink in it. You should let it dry for about 24 hours, but I'll go ahead and tell you most of us don't and it's usually fine, but it's good practice to let it dry. But if you have a cartridge of ink, usually this will be full of ink, um, then I would take that out. And then what I would do is I would take my syringe and fill it up with water. which that is hard to do just out of the sink. Usually I have a cup of water with me as well. And then what I do is I put water through this part. You can see, I put water through here and you'll get a lot of, yep, see I already had ink coming out. And then I also do that, I give the nib and feed a rinse. And then hopefully you can hear me, then I get more water. And gently, don't stab it. I put the needle in through the breather hole and slowly run water through there as well. And just do all of those steps until the water runs clear. And you don't see any more ink coming out of it. I still have some blue ink coming out because I was 
I dipped, dip tested, or what do you call it? I think that's what you call it. I just got the nib with some ink on it, just to try and test it out, writing for someone. So that should be good. I don't see any more ink coming out. And then I would set that on a paper towel to dry. And then, if you have the converter or the cartridge out and you're wanting to reuse it, I will also run water through that with the syringe. So fill up the syringe. Again, a lot easier if you just have a cup of water with you. Stick it in and squirt water in it until it run, runs dry. And then usually the water will get trapped in there. So I stick the needle back in and turn it upside down so the water goes to the needle and suck out all the water. And then set that to dry as well on a paper towel. And there you go. That's the very basics of it. Now, if you're wanting to actually take out the nib and the feed to do like a real deep clean, it's pretty easy for the pilot metropolitan. Get your grip. You can technically do, with it, do it just with your fingers, but that doesn't always work for me. Now, this is wet, so I don't know how well this is going to work. There you go. You can see there's ink stuck in it too. But you just pull it pretty simple. Be careful, don't like wiggle it or anything like that. And I still had some ink stuck to the bottom of the nib. There's black, which was the last color I used. And there you go. I'm going to go set all that on a paper towel and boom, that pen's clean. That's all you got to do.